Worry on the run as U.S. president is set to withdraw visas and sanction perpetrators of election fraud. See details. Hmm. I greet everyone in the house. This is the Lord TV. We are here once again this very day, and uh, we are still in the month of Feb of March. Yes, we just entered the month, and it's uh, it's getting hot too early. Yes, it shows that it's going to be a very hot month. It's going to be a very hot month because we just concluded uh, an election. A presidential election, and um, as it is, everybody is contemplating that uh, will this uh, governorship election commence? Because uh, the the error committed during the presidential election is yet to be resolved. So they are contemplating: is it not better we shift this um, governorship election in order to find a a resolve? for the presidential election because um, as it is it is now becoming um, an international matters it's now becoming matters that concerns the arts international organizations groups and what have you are now you know voicing out you understand you know anything that has to do with election is not a joke thing so that is why it used to involve um international personalities understand yes so um as it is now my dear listeners it's getting hotter and hotter by the day concerning the already concluded um presidential election why um other countries are taking move to um to ban some of these fraudulent Ministers that encouraged the uh, encourage election fraud. Joe Biden also has also um, seeked the advice and also gotten advice from international communities like uh, Serap to fast track the visa ban of some of these ministers as well. Okay, yes, because. After this, the next thing they will do is to run, to escape. So that shouldn't, uh, they should not, they should be denied of that very opportunity. That is what um, he's trying to say. To read on Tairapa. Okay, uh, my people, let's check the contents and know what uh, is actually cooking up. This is morning news. Socioeconomic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has urged United States President Joe Biden to exercise his power pursuant to the presidential proclamation 7,750 and 8,697 and the Immigration and Nationality Act. Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project Serap has urged United States President Joe Biden to exercise his power pursuant to the presidential proclamations 7750 and 8697 and the Immigration and Nationality Act to ban Nigerian officials, politicians, and other perpetrators and sponsors of violence during the just concluded elections. Serap also urged Biden to use the Global Magnitsky Human Rights Accountability Act to block or revoke the visas of anyone suspected to be responsible for cases of intimidation, harassment and violence during the elections and impose asset freezes and property sanctions on them and their families. The letter followed reports of election-related intimidation, harassment and violence in several states of the country, including Akwaibom, Enugu, Gombe, Lagos, Edo, Ogun, Oshun, Rivers, 
Taraba and Federal Capital Abuja. In the letter dated February 25, 2023, and signed by Deputy Director Kolawali Olua Dari, Serap said they targeted sanctions against suspected perpetrators and sponsors of election related violence in Nigeria will promote accountability and impunity and deter human rights violations. The body noted that applying the presidential proclamations, Global Magnitsky Act and Immigration and Nationality Act as recommended will be very helpful to efforts to stop further violence before, during and after elections, facilitate free and fair elections and encourage people to exercise their rights to vote. The letter reads, in parts. Well, visa ban, visa ban, visa ban, withdrawal, sanctioning, and what have you. Yes, I think um, that is um, a very good way of punishing these uh, ministers. Yes, it's a very good way. Most especially this INEC chairman. If that has been quickly been done to him, I don't think he would have taken this move that he took by flying out of the country immediately. He uh, pronounced the winner of the election. That is, that he can he can now say, it shows that there is no um, truth in what he has just done. You understand? Yes, that's what I feel. Show that there is no truth. How can you just call an election and you? Uh, and and uh, how can you just make a pronouncement of of a winner and you escape out of the country? It shows that what you've done, you're not sure of what you've done. You did it probably out of fear. You understand? Probably out of fear. And now, since then, everybody has been saying it. Even the international observers that the election conducted by INEC is not transparent enough. It's not transparent enough. So, as INEC chairman, you're supposed to be in the country, at least to help collate people's opinions, people's complaints, work with it, and see how quickly it can be used to fast-track results. So, understand now, now look at... Every, the, the whole thing is just pending because of the of of the attitude you have put up to this. You know, I don't care attitude. You know, consign me. I don't do my own work. That is what you're trying to say. You see that? See how it's, it's affecting everybody. Absolutely everybody. All right. My people, you've heard it already. And that is how it is. Okay? So please don't forget. Your comments, your ideas, they are still very much of great importance. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.